Good morning, internet, Facebook, YouTube, wherever the heck I posted this. I want to share this new meditation technique. I just woke up. Um, I'm trying to look as, make my bed head as presentable as possible. I'm still getting my curls in. I want to share this technique with you guys because it's something that I used to think was bull crap. I really did not believe in this at all. I would just roll my eyes every time someone told me to take a deep breath and really feel into my body. I, I, I used to like just be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but I have experienced, um, I just had a personal experience this past week that has led me to really start taking it seriously. Um, so I'm, we're going to share this meditation technique together. We're going to try it together, see how you feel. Um, and the technique is called focusing on a felt sense. And I'm making this crappy video. I mean, this is crappy by 2015 standards, right? Like, I don't have bright lights and it's all kind of pixelated because it's on my MacBook webcam, which in 2009, this would have been the ish, but 2015, it's not even close. I'm making this video right now because there are no YouTube videos about it. Like none. Like I cannot find it. Like I, I literally cannot find it. Um, so I'm like, well, I'm going to do it right now and share it. And hopefully somebody who needs to see this will see it. Hopefully it'll help somebody. Um, so this is this is the meditation technique focusing on the felt sense and what that means is that you're going to focus inward on your body you're going to focus in your body just pretend for a minute just for like i don't know the 10 minutes that this video is going to be pretend that you believe that your body stores emotions and manifests that um either physically or through a weird sensation right so a very obvious example is someone who hunches their shoulders forward and they don't even know that they're doing it like they they just live their life like this they don't even know that they're hunching forward and the only way that they would know is one somebody else points it out to them like did you know that you hunch your like did you know that you could like pull back like someone points it out for them to the Draw inward and feel, like pay attention to how their body literally feels. And you might notice, oh, whoa, actually, I've been living like this, but I could have been living like this. And we all know that that hunching over is a subconscious response to feeling unconfident, right? You're hunching over. You're trying to make yourself smaller. You feel like you're not worthy of taking up space. So you're hunched forward in an attempt to become smaller. And it's a subconscious attempt. You're not you're not literally thinking, okay, I need to like get smaller. You know? <laughs> but it's subconscious, right? We have these subconscious feelings that we're not aware of and they are affecting how we live our life. There's something that you want, right? You wouldn't be watching a video on meditation if you weren't wanting something different in your life there's something that you want that you currently don't have and believe me if you had all of the emotional and mental capacity to have what you want and you do have all the capacity but if you knew how to access it then you would have what you want right now right so there is something that is blocking you from getting what you want and this meditation technique is just another tool to have in your arsenal to help you get there to release anything that is blocking you emotionally mentally so that you can achieve what you want checking for time so now the felt sense is going to be different than like well my hand is sore i just played racquetball felt sense feeling into the no you're not feeling into like oh i'm really sore or you're not feeling into well i have diabetes so i can't, there's no sensation in my big toe like we're we're not feeling into um things that you know are obvious medical problems or like well obviously i did crossfit last night you're not feeling into those sensations you're feeling into sensations that don't make any sense 
you're feeling into sensations that are like, why would I, why would I feel that, you know, you're feeling into sensations that don't have words, that don't have any logic to it. Um, so, um, we're going to ask those weird sensations, questions, to figure out what emotion is going on. Okay, so let's do it together because I've been talking for five minutes. <sighs> okay. And I learned this from a friend. I learned this from a friend. I'll talk more about my friend after. So, you're sitting down. Take a deep breath to just settle yourself, okay? If you have children, I guess you'll have to do this in the bathroom or something. Um, <laughs> uh, because the kids will be like, what are you doing? Can I join you? Right, okay. So, coming down, and um, you're going to kind of scan your body, right? Just, just mentally focus on your body. And find any sensation that doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good, right? So right now you might be maybe feeling your heart beating. You might be feeling like the blood flow through your body. You know, you might be feeling like a little pinch where you're sitting on your foot. It's like a slight little pinch on your heel. And For me, all of a sudden, I feel this very subtle sensation from my solar plexus and it's coming up all the way to my throat. It's very subtle. It's a very subtle sensation and it's a sensation I felt before but easily ignored. It's very subtle. So I'm going to focus on it because it's so subtle. I'm going to focus on it. This is focusing. I'm focusing on the sensation. And I'm going to say hello. Okay, so step one is to say hello once you find that odd sensation. Sorry, I, <laughs> I wrote down some notes. I just want to make sure that I'm telling everybody the right thing. Um, all right. Ooh. So, yeah, we said hello. So, to so say hello to it, acknowledge it. And we're going to ask it to describe itself. You know, hey, weird feeling, like, what, what's up? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> How would you describe yourself? For me, I get dark, cloudy, concentrated mass, blocking, it's concentrated. And I'm going to repeat this description back to it. Okay, so you feel like, like you're a huge blockage, like you're just so thick and concentrated and full of darkness and you're, some, you're blocking something. Okay, so once you repeat the description, you know, as if you're talking to that feeling, like I am literally just imagining a mass of dark, blockage kind of felt like like cotton balls like I'm visualizing that here and I'm literally talking to it and it told me it feels like this and I say oh you feel like this and it's gonna be like yeah that's how I feel and whenever the sensation is like yeah like that's how I feel you're gonna feel a subtle change in the sensation like the, the sensation is just going to change subtly and if the sensation doesn't change then ask it again like could you describe yourself a little bit more okay so um what i've been doing next is then i ask the feeling like how do you feel like what emotion 
And this is sadness. I feel sad. Do you feel sad? Yeah. Now I'm going to ask this question like it's a small child. You know, like imagine you're speaking to a small child. What would you ask a small child next? You know, if a small child said, well, I feel really sad. You would say, well, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? What happened? And I feel like the sensation. And, it, and when you're doing this, you might feel like, I don't know, you might want to tell yourself, I don't know. But, you know, just like, pre what if you did know? Like, just let's, let's, let's just pretend that anything that came out of your mouth was exactly it. Like, let's just pretend that you actually knew. Like, if you actually knew, what, what, what do you want to say? I feel like there is so much I want. There's so much I could do. And I feel like I can't do it. I feel like I can't have it. I feel like I can't even ask for it. Repeat it back. We feel like there's a lot you could do and you feel like you can't even do it. There's a lot that you want. You want so much and you don't get to have it. And that makes you feel sad. And the little kid inside is like, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, okay, so... There are different things that people, like, there are more questions that you could ask to get deeper. Um, and I just want to share this, this observation I made about myself. Like, the first, well, I still do this, but especially the first few times I was like, oh my gosh, wait. I feel something. You know, the first few times that I naturally started meditating this way, um, and I would ask myself these questions. I would ask the feeling these questions. Uh, a lot of times I was like, oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I would say, I don't know. And I'm starting to discover that I don't know is actually a defense mechanism. Remember that the sensation that you're exploring is something that you've been feeling a long time and you've been ignoring it. You've been repressing it. And when you're finally exploring it and you say, I don't know, it's a subconscious attempt to continue repressing whatever it is you're afraid to get honest about. So when you let go of being right, if you just say, okay, I'm just going to pretend that anything and everything that comes out of my mouth is right. I'm going to pretend as if I know. When you just allow yourself to speak, you're actually allowing yourself to release whatever you've been repressing. You're allowing yourself to finally be honest with yourself. And that is huge. Oh, this video is like 14 minutes now. Sorry. Okay, so um, I'm sure there's like more advanced ways to do this. Um, but I'm a beginner and um, there's no other YouTube videos or Facebook videos about this. So we're, we'll just be beginners together and learn more. So, so you know, you've connected with this feeling, you know that it's there, and you're going to ask it, you know, just like you would ask a small child. What do you need? What would help you to feel better? Go. I want to just go. 
I want to just do it. Go. Do it. Now. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. <laughs> okay, so um, what would make you feel better is if you just went for it. Yeah, you just want to go for it. You you have something you want and you just want to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> and that would help you to feel better. A little bit. That would help me to feel a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. Um, and um, I actually don't want to stop there. I actually want to continue meditating. Um. But that's the basic structure. I hope that made sense, right? You're going to feel into your body and feel that weird sensation, which is called a felt sense. That weird sensation is a felt sense. You're going to ask it questions. What do you feel like? What What is the sensation? And what emotion do you have? Why? What's wrong? Um, you can ask, what what makes it feel worse? You can ask, what makes it feel better? You can ask all kinds of questions, you know, just like you are trying to take care of a child. You can ask it all sorts of questions to try to understand it as much as possible. And then you, you want to ask, what would help it to feel better? And um, so now um, I pretty much know, okay, like, I'm going to, um, you know, start taking action right now on certain things um, because that is going to help me release whatever is, whatever subconscious emotions or blockages are keeping me from what I want um, is going to help me to feel better, you know, because sometimes you feel, you know, do you ever just feel icky and you don't really know why you just feel icky? It's going to help me to feel better. It's going to help me to continue towards my goals um, with less resentment and less discouragement. Um, it's going to help me to go for what I want with more clarity and um, with more ease, right? Like, it's... It's totally going to feel so much easier to do what I want to do if I don't, like, have a subconscious feeling of choking on cotton balls, right? So that's the whole purpose of this. Um, I realized how important this was, like, um, yeah, last Monday. I went to this retreat. I do this coaching program called Transformational Coaching Method. Um... And I will have a link to that, like, somewhere so if on, in the description. or so, I'm going to have the link to that somewhere. And um, a lot of the people who go through this training, they are, like, really into, yeah, I get a felt sense, like, really breathe that in. Yeah. You know, they're really, <laughs> they're really like that. And I, when I started this training, I was just, like, hair flip, like, <laughs> rolling my eyes. Um, and I started like, you know, I'm like, okay, some people really need that. You know, I started understanding some people really need that. Like, I'm not going to judge that or, or not provide that for someone who I can see needs that, um, because it seems to really help some people. And then we, we were doing an exercise this last week. Oh, and somebody just asked me a question, like they were coaching me, they just asked me a question, and I was like, I I don't I don't know the answer to that. I can't, I can't answer that. And she said, What if you could answer that? What if you didn't know the answer to that? And I started feeling this weird sensation. Like it just felt like this little tiny pea size size of a mustard seed little sensation saying, Oh, sensation and I was like this is weird okay you you know little tiny sensation you seem really eager you seem like you know the answer to this question what's the answer to the question and 
it was like, you want to speak? You want to make videos and speak to a lot of people? Like, it was this... I'm just personifying it. It sounds so weird right now. But, you know, like that little tiny sensation, that little tiny voice inside me was like, yeah, I have all these ideas that you never listened to me about. But hey, <laughs> you know. And I just vocalized. I just said, yeah, like, um, I want to speak to a lot of people. And I want to do this. And I want that. And I'm going to do that. And do 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 do. And, um, you know, and we continued with the coaching session and I was just like, whoa, like I just had a sense of clarity. I've been searching for clarity, um, of what I wanted and like how I should approach what I'm trying to do. And I just felt like a, such a sense of clarity and such a sense of like, just chill out. Like I'm so relaxed right now. Like, cause I know what the heck I'm trying to do now. Like, you know, I just felt so good. I felt so powerful. I felt like, yeah, I can do whatever the heck I want to do and be successful at it. I just felt so, like, enlightened, kind of, you know, about myself and my capabilities. And, um, and I was, like, you know, talking to somebody about it. And she was like, oh, you got a felt sense. You were focusing. And I was like, what was that? And uh, my friend, her name is Valerie Green. She is a relationship coach. She helps people like rekindle the flame and all of that. Um, I'll put a link to her website also in the description. I'm giving her credit for this because she, if I hadn't had this conversation with her, I wouldn't even know that this was a thing. Like this is an actual meditation method thing. Um, and she told me like the basic steps, like, what we went through, you um, get quiet and you feel for it, you say hello to it, acknowledge that it's there, you ask it some questions. Um, if, if, you, if you got the right sense of it, it's going to change a little bit. That's how you know that, um, that you're getting it. And um, you know, you can go on from there. The technique is called focusing on a felt sense. Um, if you have any other information about it or if you have questions about it, please let me know. Um, you know, I can ask my friend Valerie or I can research it or we can research together um, because this is a new meditation technique that I, I've actually, since last week, I've been doing it every day. Um, and... Uh, I just wanted to share. I just wanted to share. There's no other videos about it. This is a 23-minute video. <laughs> but I hope you learned something new. I hope this helps somebody. Um, and with that, I am going to get to work. Peace out. Love you guys.